am like whoop, whoop, very pumped this time. What is up, babes? Welcome or welcome back to another episode of Modern DIYer. My name is Julia, and I like to entertain you at least once a week with creative DIYs, room makeovers, and lifestyle videos, and all with a budget-friendly approach. Today, I am super pumped, and I know I say this all the time, which I am, but today is like extra, extra. Hear me out, though. I've been watching Yummy from Latina Next Door for a long time. I've seen her growth. You go, girl. I'm proud of you. And I'm just so pumped to be on this side of your TV today. If you guys hear a little baby in the background, it's because there is. But he's fine, he's loving life, he's in his gym and uh, just bouncing away. Today's challenge is the look for less. So basically you want to get inspiration from a higher end store and you wanna recreate it for way less. All right, that should be simple, right? Without further ado, let's jump right into the video and into these two. DIYs I've created for you. Let's go. So funny story, you guys. I walked into the Dollarama and then I saw this bamboo cutting board and I said, perfect, I'll just take off the ends and it's a perfect square. And then I saw this one and I was like, oh, perfect. I don't even have to do anything. It's cheaper, $2. Incredible, I take it. And then I'm walking down the same aisle and then I see the actual tic-tac-toe it's like I was meant to do this and I'm sure this is nothing new to some of you but I usually like to go thrifting more than the dollar store so that's why I didn't know that was there next I grab this spray bottle I feel like it's the perfect shape for the next DIY I'm going to be doing all right let's get back home These are actually so cute. You know what I was gonna use? You know those magnetic letters that you use for the kids? That's what I was gonna try and find. But of course, this turned out so much better for me. Okay, so I'm going in with a black chalk paint by Falkart and I'm just going to apply it all over. While I am waiting for this to dry, I am going to take everything else that I need in gold outside. Okay, so the tic-tac-toe is almost done. Now we have to assemble it together. I forgot to show you guys. These are actually skewers. But I've never seen them flat like this. This is the first time I've seen them flat. Usually they're rounded, so I thought these were perfect for this. This is what I'm going to be using to create our grid. And I'm just going to be using the same here, the same as this, so I don't have to measure anything because it's already measured. So why do more math when you don't need to, right? And now I'm just measuring everything to size and I'm going to be cutting them down with these wire cutters that I have. I'm using a 120 grit sandpaper just to send them down and then I'm going to be hot gluing them to our box. started with the two long sides and then I went around with my pencil marking down where I needed to cut it. This was actually such an easy DIY and way easier than I thought it would be.
lastly I'm just spraying this rhinestones with the gold and I am spraying the tic-tac-toe board with some matte clear and this is how my dupe turned out much later as you can tell there is no natural light but I have an artificial light behind you and uh, so we're continuing on oh I changed as well because it's later so I want to be comfy and uh, yeah so we're continuing on to DIY number two let's go okay so we are starting off with our spray bottle and removing the top Next, I'm just removing the part where it screws to the lid with my wire cutters. Just very carefully, it is very hard to do. But once I got it going, it was pretty easy, just quick little cuts. Next, I'm grabbing my chalk paint with baking soda and I am mixing it together to create a little bit of texture. And then I am applying it all over my vase. I'm sorry guys I know this light is not the best but this is mom life gotta wait gotta wait okay so here's our little vase looking thing and now I want to create the handles for it and how I'm gonna do that is going to be with some oven clay and then we're gonna get some strong glue the baking soda and the paint turned out great you can see even the top, it kind of like, yes, it has that rough thing, but it almost looks like it was like that. You see that? So not bad at all. However, there is this one line that is really bothering me. Do you see it right there? Can you see it? I'm gonna do the handles first, and then I'm gonna cover this with some spackling while the clay is in the oven, then that can dry. And then I will spray paint it one more time with my Rust-Oleum Black, and that's it. Okay, not bubbling. Let's go, let's do this. This is what I have. I ordered it from Amazon, so I'll try and link everything that I've used down below. But uh, I'm just going to use whatever color I have that's just been sitting here open because I'm just going to paint it after, so it doesn't matter what color I use. So let's go with this. Now let's do the line. Oh, echo. Set a timer for 20 minutes. 20 minutes. Here. I'm using this to just add a little bit on that line. Guys, I'm just gonna use my fingers. It's such a small line, but you should be wearing you should be wearing gloves. Wait for that to dry and wait for the handles to dry as well. We're gonna glue them and then we'll take everything outside and give it a good spray of blood.
When everything was dry, I started by sanding off the spackling that I used, and then I'm going to glue in the handles with some E6000 and some hot glue just to adhere fast, and then the E6000 will make it last longer. And next, I just added a little bit of hot glue all around the handle part just for extra strength. After it was dry, I used some of the same mixture of the chalk paint and some baking soda and I added it to the handles and to the whole base just for a cohesive look. However, that did not work out for me so I ended up going in with some spackling again and just added it around the handles and around the top, might as well. And then I sanded it down and painted it again with the black and baking soda mixture, just like you can see here, it's already done. It is looking so good. Now we're going in for our final touches, which is the white paint. And lastly, all I did was spray paint this with a clear mat. And here is how my vase turned out. how good those turned out but I'll have to hear from you what do you think do you think that I did a good job I definitely think I did and I saved so much money on these if you like them please give me a big thumbs up and if you're not subscribed please subscribe I have so much content coming for you every week as always I'll see you next one bye bye